Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I will talk about what is browser fingerprinting and why it is done by many websites and also how we can do it if we want to. So let's get started with this video and understand what is browser fingerprinting. Browser fingerprinting is when websites that you visit on a device tries to collect information about you so that it can establish kind of a unique set of parameters about you and your browsing session. They can use those parameter values to compute a single identifiable value and store it in a database for future references. Browser fingerprinting is different from identifying a user based on their account information. It is about collecting enough information such as your device name, browser name and version, operating system, time zone, language, any other hardware details like what is your GPU and CPU and many more stuff. Although this set of information will not make you unique in the world or maybe not even your region, still it will help to distinguish you from a vast number of other users. Even your browsing patterns like the time when you visit any particular website can be used to track you. Browser fingerprinting is different from tracking user by using cookies. Cookies are persisted by adwares across websites and can also be deleted but no such thing is required when it comes to browser fingerprinting. So browser fingerprints are mostly used to track users to serve them personalized ads, but it is also very common for websites to sell their identifying information to maybe other ad service providers so that they can cross check you with their databases and thus establish a more compelling and solid identity to get to know who you are and what are your preferences. This may not look harmful, but all this info is being collected and stored somewhere without the user's consent and has definitely moral and ethical problems associated with it. Fingerprinting can also be used to track malicious user activity and prevent DDoS attacks on application servers. It can even be done in an incognito mode as well and some commercial APIs can let you know if the user is browsing incognito. Now let's come to the main part of this video and that is how can we do browser fingerprinting of our users. Well, you can write your own personal scripts but there are many libraries out there which you can use for this purpose. The JavaScript library which I will be talking about in this video is fingerprint.js and it provides kind of a limited functionality without charging anything but comes with a price tag based on the number of trackings that will be done using this API. This library tracks a user and then generates a unique hash value based on the several parameters that fingerprint.js is tracking. You can store the hash values to keep a time-based track of the request to, for example, keep a watch on malicious requests. The pricing of this API is based upon the monthly identifications that it does. For 20k identifications per month, it is free, but you will have to create an account. For 100k, it's $100 per month. For 500k, it's $500 per month and so on. But for big businesses, when they want to add an extra layer of security for their websites, it becomes highly imperative to invest in such a library which can reliably track users based on their browser fingerprints. Using the fingerprint.js script in the browser is very easy. First, you just need to add the script element which will link to the fingerprint.js script. The SRC value can point to the CDN URL. Now in the script element, we can attach an event listener to the Windows DOM content loaded event. So that can be done by using window.addEventListener and then DOM content loaded. And then when this event will be fired, then we can call a function. In this function, we just have to call fingerprint.js dot load and this is going to return a promise when that promise will be resolved then we can call another function this will have the fingerprint as an argument from this function we can call return fp dot get this is again going to return a promise when this promise will be resolved then we will get the result and from the result, we can fetch the unique hash or visitor ID and then we can store this visitor ID to keep a track of the users which are visiting our websites. 
so if you want to know the visitor id then you can just get the value from the property result dot visitor id so i'm just going to log it to the console so result dot visitor id and that's pretty much it to fetch the id of the visitor now let's just run this code in the browser to find out what is the fingerprint or the visitor id when i will be visiting this page and the fingerprint js's open source version is going to fetch my id based on the limited set of parameters which it is going to track also there is a typo over here so let's fix that first so over here you can see there is an id which is logged to the console now this is the visitor id or the unique computed hash by this library based on the set of parameters that this code is tracking for example the device name maybe the browser name the operating system name any other information too so fingerprint js says that the free version is not very accurate and but it is open source but the pro version is much more accurate than the free one and it can be much more useful so you have to decide which version is better for your needs or maybe you can go and try to find out other libraries out there and there are other fingerprinting libraries but you will have to try them first to check out how accurate they are and what are the differences and pros and cons between them so as i said before the open source version only tracks a few parameters and if you want to more reliably isolate any user with a great degree then it will be much better to use the pro version so that is everything that this video has to offer about browser fingerprinting if you like the video then please place a like on it and also subscribe to this channel for more such videos i am nitej and i will see you next time till then stay safe and have fun